Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Uh, I hope everybody's keeping safe and warm through this winter blast that everybody's having. And I know I, it's not as cold down here as it is in other places. Um, I have friends in colder places. Um, I know Marsha and up there where she's at is uh, Michigan. It's, it's in the single digits and that's really bad, cold and snowing. Uh, down here in Louisiana, it's uh, 20 degrees, and uh, we have uh, an inch and a half of sleet on the ground. And we're having to drip our faucets and all that good stuff and bundle up. Um, I have socks and house slip, furry house slippers on, as well as long sleeves um, and, and my thickest pants on, um, which is, you know, because my sweater is in the washer. <laughs> Cause I've been sleeping in it. <laughs> My little hoodie. I've been sleeping in it. I've been so cold. Uh, and a little bit of a weight update. Um, I weighed myself again today, and um, I'm down to 312. So when I started uh, with the weight loss doctor, I was at 393. Uh, my pre-op appointment, I was at 371. And um. Yeah, 81 pounds down since I started with the weight loss doctor. And um, going by my regular doctor's uh, calculations, um, I was at 415 in September 2022 when my regular doctor started keeping track of my reg uh, constant weight loss without any gain back. And I was at 415 and now I'm at 312. So that's 103 pounds since September of 2022 without any gain back. So, um, gave me. <laughs> so, um, hmm. I'm pretty excited about that. And this shirt, I'm gonna um, push the, camp the, the tripod back and show y'all the shirt that I pulled out to wear uh, because I couldn't find the other shirt that I wanted to wear. <laughs> uh, used to, I, I'd have to keep pulling it down because it wouldn't go over my hips very good. And now it kind of almost swallows me whole. So, uh, which is a term, it's a Southern term, mean, meaning it's just very big on me. Um, so I'm gonna push the camera back so that I can show y'all uh, because I, I was just, I couldn't help but be tickled at it. Cause um, it's just one of those things that you just take for granted. You know, a lot of people take for granted when things are big on them. I'll, I'll never do that again, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna just do this real quick. But uh, used to, because it has the, this is a, you know, it has these little cinched, cinched up things that are supposed to accentuate your waist, you know, or accentuate your hips a little bit. It was supposed to be, you know, see, it's got these little fancy little stitch in here and this fancy little stitch in here that's supposed to be kind of, because um, I don't know how you'd want to put it, but it's supposed to, it's supposed to kind of hug your hips a little bit but uh, it can't do that anymore. <laughs> it, it doesn't do that anymore. So, yeah. Um, let me see if I can move this back a little bit further. But yeah, it's, it, 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 it basically will fold over on both sides now versus what it used to do. Anyway, so there's that. <laughs> I don't have I don't I don't know if I have any pictures of me wearing this anywhere this particular shirt but um, yeah <laughs> so that was huge because I, I, I avoided wearing this shirt because I was you know for a lot of times after I bought it because I would constantly be pulling it down because it it would roll up because it was too stuck because it wouldn't stay in place because I was too big but um, well I don't reckon that'll be a problem anymore <laughs> Anyway, so we just been uh, staying in, and um, this cold weather's kind of had me my back hurting a bit. So I've been sitting here crocheting with uh, my blanket over me, and my dog is close to me. Axel's over here laying on top of that blanket that I've been had had over my lap. He looks so cute, but uh, I don't know if y'all can see him laying there. There he is. 
There he is, just laid up looking so sweet. Yep, that's Axel in my poor messed up bed. Yep. <laughs> this is what I stare at when I'm talking to y'all. Mm-hmm. One very large Labrador Retriever looking oh so cute. Anyway, here comes his brother. Get up on the bed, Theo. And Theo is a crazy child. He wants to get out in the sleep and play. I never seen a short-haired dog want to be out in the cold playing, but he does. He did it when it snowed a couple of years ago. Well, about three years ago now, I guess. When it snowed in 2021, we lived out when we lived out in the country. It snowed about two or three inches, and um, and Theo wanted to get out there and, and play in it. And I got pictures of him on my phone playing playing in the snow, and just had this wild and crazy guy look look on his face. And he was just so happy. And um, <laughs> and today he's just wanted, he just continually wanted outside. And I'm like, no, you just came from outside. There's no reason for you to go outside again. I know the only reason why you want out there is to play in the ice. And it's ice, it's not snow. It looks like snow from, from far off, it looks like snow. But it's ice, get up on the bed. Um, but yeah, that, that's what we've been dealing with. And I really had planned on just doing nothing but working on the boys' blanket. But I happened to look over there um, on top of the cubes and realized that I had started a cardigan for myself uh, using this, uh, using one of these sw uh, cinnamon swirl cakes. And this one looks like it's been through the wars. But uh, this uh, Karen's cinnamon swirl cake, uh, the colorway is called Bay. And you know, that's my colors, right? all day long that's my colors so I had started I had started this a couple of months ago before my surgery I think I think before my surgery I don't remember but it's been a little while since I started it and I paired it to hold on let me move some stuff around I'll show y'all um, I paired it with some Kirshner yarn The Heathers, Heathers, yeah, the worst at eight. Heathers yarn. Yeah, I paired it with this. Uh, this color's called Teal Lake. And this this yarn is wonderful. If you get a chance to get you some Hershner's uh, Heathers yarn, I recommend this. It's very smooth to work with. It's very nice. And uh, so this is a full cape. I, now I start when I start these um, cardigans. I start them with four four rows of the um, the hexi. You know, I do four rows in the in the com, whatever solid color I'm working with, and then I start with whatever cake I'm going to be working with, uh, self striping cake or whatever variegated cake or skein or whatever I'm going to be working with. But uh, I am working the solid stitch with this one. And so I got, I'm one cake and two, and well, the four rows of the Heathers here. And then I got a full cake, which is 14. I got 14 rows of out of the first cake here. That gave me 14 rows. And then let's see, I had this much left out of it. And uh, so I, I'll use that. I'll use that little ball there to do um, when I seam it up. I'll, that's what I generally do out of my scrap balls uh, from when I do the cardigans like this I use the scrap balls to use my as my seaming up yarn um, instead of you know throwing them in a scrap ball then or whatever I just use them to do the seaming up so uh, but this is what I got so far on one side I got to do two rows of the heathered on this other side and then I'm gonna do some more um, some more of the cake yarn. Um, I'm gonna do some more rows. Uh, I'll do some more rows of uh, the the self striping yarn, and then I'm uh, go back and forth until I get it the the right size I want it. I'm also gonna use this for my ribbing. This is uh, of course I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby in the color do -do -do, turquoise. Ooh, imagine. <laughs> my favorite color uh so yeah i had i had about four skeins of this and so it just made sense to use this 
What are you doing over there? Oh, okay. I just heard a noise. But um, I'm, I'm just going to use this for probably the cuffs, the ribbing, and the neck. And I may use it for some of the other um, stripes, but I probably won't because I have another two, two skeins of this. But this is 489 yards, and I've just barely, it's just barely, um, you know, I've barely used any of it so far. But I'm going to do two rows on the other, other half, and then I'll um, do, I'll use this, uh, this is my, this will be my third cake breaking in, and I have this one and one more. So, I bought four cakes for um, my cardigan because I didn't know how much I'd need. And, of course, since since buying this yarn, I've lost a lot of weight. So, I, did, I, I won't even need, I probably won't even need this whole cake here because there is, so did this see, 407 yards. I probably won't need all of this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I, 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 I will, I like them long. Um, like when I made that one for Melody. Uh, with the um, the burnt pumpkin and the uh, Dakota yarn from uh, Hobby Lobby, when I made hers, I really liked the length and the size of hers. So um, I probably will make it about that size because I really liked the size that that ended up being, and um, I liked the length of that one. So I probably will go with the length of hers um, because I like I like having it I liked having it long, and um, that guy. Someone asked me today, with me losing all this weight, was my clothing style going to change? And I was like, well, I don't know because, you know, when you lose a great amount of weight, all of a sudden your clothing choices become more open, you know, um, because for years and years, I've only been able to shop at womanwithin.com or, you know, any of the sister companies attached with Woman Within, Romans, you know, um, other companies that are attached to, you know, Catherine's, um, you know, those type companies geared toward women, uh, size, you know, 14 and up, you know, um, so when you only been able to shop online and not be able to, you know, find your size in a store, um, you're, you're limited. And then you don't get to try, try on the clothes. A lot of times you don't get to try on the clothes before you buy them. So you don't know how it's gonna fit you when you get it in the mail. So you're, it's just it's just a gamble on what you're getting. You know, luckily, you know, I had been shopping with Woman Within, Lord, for 20 some years. So I, I by this time I would just buy the same things that, you know, when, once you've gambled and, and figured out what clothes are, are the best clothes to get for yourself, you just keep buying the same type stuff. You know, because by now, you know, what materials are going to last you and what materials are not. And so you just end up buying the same type of clothes all the time. And so that's what I did. I bought the same type of clothes, same uh, elastic waist knit pants, same, you know, uh, V-neck tops, you know, short, mainly short sleeve uh, V-neck tops, you know, just the same type of clothes, you know, in different shades of, co you know, different colors. And um, so that's what my, my wardrobe has looked like. Just the most comfortable, inexpensive clothes I could afford because I needed to clothe boys. I needed to provide for boys, you know, um, and I could go to Walmart and get their clothes, you know. And um, so now that, you know, I can walk into a Walmart and buy clothes or any other store, you know, similar store, you know, and I'm constantly shrinking, so you know, pretty soon I can I'll be able to go into just about any store and buy myself clothes. So that opens up a whole nother realm of possibilities as to what I can wear. And so what I've always thought was really cute and really stylish is the boho look. You know, the long flowy, you know, uh, multicolored clothing. You know, just very uh, relaxed look. You know, just. Uh, the long um, dusters and just f nice, you know, flowy type outfits, you know, just very comfortable looking, um, but stylish. And so I, I, I really like that style. I've always thought that if I was ever small enough, I would dress like that. So, you know, I guess we just have to wait and see. Because I, I just can't see myself at 50 years old all of a sudden start wearing tight clothes. 
I just can't I can't see myself do, doing that um I, I, I do I'm not comfortable in tight clothes when I maybe when I was a teenager I love my tight clothes but uh as as an adult and as a person that's now 50 years old I can't see myself reverting to tight clothes but uh I, I can see myself wearing nice you know comfortable clothes yet stylish clothes so um so that's where I'm at with that um you know and I just got to find a you know find my own style again I guess now that I'll be able to buy clothes anywhere so it's it's just it's it's a whole new world and my you know of course my goal weight is about 200 so I got another 100 to go you know but still I mean 80 pounds 81 pounds in you know six less than six months I think that's that's pretty good and um uh, so yeah this time next year I'll be prob uh, hopefully where I want to be or pretty close to it and um look out world because <laughs> that that's that's almost pre-baby heaven weight because <laughs> I was never t you know by the time I was 18, 19, I was, you know, I was, you know, about 180, you know, somewhere in there, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm a solid built person. I never was, you know, uh, I hadn't been real skinny many since I was like 13, 14 years old. So, you know, I was never terribly, you know, I've always been kind of solid built. So it's just exciting. It's exciting because I don't know. I don't know what my clothing style is really going to be. I'm just going to dress to be comfortable. And uh, if it looks right on me, I'll wear it. You know, and uh, my colors have always leaned toward whatever looks good. You know, but uh, I, I do I do like pinks and I like reds and I like turquoises and blues and uh, occasionally purples. You know, um, but um, you know, now that my my clothing choices aren't you know limited by a particular size you know and that sort of thing um i don't i really don't know <laughs> it should be interesting but right now i haven't been buying a lot of clothes because my size is so much in flux so i just been wearing what i have and uh and some of the pants i have i've been taking clothing ties and I just take the either side of the pants. I have like a couple of pair of pants that I have to do this with. And I take a couple of pair of the pants and I, I take the, the sides of them and I twist them. And then I take hair ties and I tie around them <laughs> and to hold them on. <laughs> and then I just wear a baggy shirt over them so no one can see that I've done that. <laughs> Because I don't want to put a bunch of money out on clothes right now. Because as soon as I do, and I, I, then a month or two after I buy new pants, then I have to buy pants again. So it doesn't make any sense to buy a bunch of pants. And then I had to buy pants again another month or two down the road. It just doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to make do with what I have until, you know, I have a more, dry, a, a more better plan as to, you know, that it just doesn't make sense to buy, buy clothes now. It doesn't. So I'm just going to wear my baggy ones and um, use my hair, some hair ties and twist them up and, you know, just make, make it work. Because I can't sew. So before y'all give all this wonderful advice about sewing, oh, you can make little darts. And, no, I don't sew. I don't sew. So, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, bust out a sewing needle and try to, you know, sew darts or whatever it is that y'all, you know, want to advise me to do. What's, what I'm doing is working. So it's fine. <laughs> I don't get out of the house enough or out in public enough for it to matter. So no, I'm not going to do anything else, but what I'm doing It's it's too, it's too much to, to effort into something that I hardly ever go out of the house for it to matter. I have a few pair that, uh, I have, you know, at least three or so pair that I don't have to do anything to because they're not absolutely falling off of me. You know, they're baggy, yes, but they're not falling off of me. But I have at least two pair 
that do that if I stand up, they're going. <laughs> so I just cinch them up with a hair ties and we're fine. <laughs> but I only wear them if I if everything else is dirty. So, but I have a washer and dryer, as you could probably you probably could have heard. They just cut off. But um, anyway, um, so I'm working on this cardigan. That's what I've been doing a lot of working on the last couple of days. And, uh, but I did work a little bit on Johnny's blanket today. Um, I managed to get into that skein here and work on that a little bit. I only did a couple of rows, so I'm not gonna pull it all the way out and show you. I only did a couple of rows. So it's not a, not a big difference. But um, then I attempted to do a little thing to cover this and all I managed to do is make myself mad at myself because I couldn't figure it out. But Marcia sent me some tutorials to uh, show me how to do a circle and then work it up, you know, work it up. Because I wanted to co cover this with crochet so that I could put my hooks in it. Because I noticed that my table that sits here in front of me is just got a bunch of junk on it. And I'm constantly hunting for things. But if I had this, you know, I could just, this is an empty coffee can. Just regular Folgers classic roast. Uh, <laughs> And if you open the lid, you smell the coffee still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I don't, I need to go wipe it out, but I just haven't because I like to go, uh, coffee. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to cover this with crochet and then I'm going to um, put my crochet hooks in here. And uh, that way I can just find them, you know, easy, more easily crochet hooks and pins even though I only have a couple of pins but things that are you know that I'm always hunting for on this table I'm going to put in that coffee because it's plastic so it's plastic but I'm gonna put in there so to just make a little more organization in here but um, it's super cold here I'm just really not a big fan of the super cold but uh, I do apologize for going three days without a video that's really not like me, but um, this cold has kind of just uh, had me a bit in the dumps, and um, that and I just really didn't have a whole lot of content to bring y'all, um, and so I guess that's probably a big part of it. This is not going to be a big paycheck next month because I haven't done enough videos. Uh, I do have some sweater orders, though. I have two for sure sweater orders and then i have a lady that's uh hit me up on instagram after i responded to another post uh from some a channel that uh, another uh account that i follow i responded and and then apparently the lady liked what i said and so she went and looked at my page because my page is public and she saw a bunch of my crochet stuff and she's like hey do you sell that stuff and i was like yes and so we went back and forth and so she may come back and order something uh, but I have for sure a couple of emails um, for um, sweater orders, so that's that's good. Um, so um, I have for sure a couple of orders, and I needed that, so um, that'll keep me busy for a while. And I like to be busy, and hopefully, because the weather's got our streets messed up. So I'll probably it'll probably be Thursday or Friday before I get uh, Connie's sweater sent out. Um, because I want to make sure that the streets are going to be okay to get out. I got a doctor's appointment Thursday's afternoon, so I'll probably, um, be able to send it out, um, before I go to my doctor's appointment Thursday. So, um, and that should be that. And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think of other things to talk about because I'm just, um, uh, I'm sleepy for some reason. I just took a shower, and that's probably what's got me sleepy. Um, we've been dripping our faucets, even though that uh, the landlord did go up there and insulate our pipes and everything, and we haven't had a bit of trouble out of that. And uh, it's just keeping warm that's the thing, uh, because of course now that I've lost 81 pounds since July, uh, I get cold easily. This is the first time in my life I've ever been so cold natured and I don't care for it <laughs> at all 
that's the only drawback of the weight loss. That's one of the only drawbacks of, of the weight loss is the whole cold, na cold natured part. Um, I really, I don't, I don't care for the cold natured part, but, uh, I got plenty of tea bags and, um, I've discovered that the, the Walmart generic equal, the little, uh, packets that I bought me a box of, uh, the generic equal, um, and the little blue ones, um, uh, two little, two little packets of that in my tea, uh, works perfectly. Um, I, I like the, I like the honey too, but the honey gets a little messy. So, um, the little, little, two little packets, of, um, equal works perfect. So, um, so that's what I've been doing. And I've been, you know, when I get really cold, I just go in there and I, uh, uh turn on my little, uh, electric, um, tea kettle and, uh, warm up me some water and make me a little cup of herbal tea. And, um, that's probably what I'm gonna do when I get done with this video is go make me a cup of tea and warm myself up and get back to work on one of these projects over here <laughs> don't know which one uh i got uh like i said i got a couple of, well one is going to send me the yarn for her her sweater she wants she wants it done in a particular yarn and she wants to send me the yarn to work on to to use for her sweater so that's that's fine um and then um judy wants the uh the burnt pumpkin and dakota for her yarn for her sweater so, um, I think I'm pretty sure I got enough for her sweater, but I may, when I go back to Hobby Lobby on the 22nd, I may try to nab a couple of, uh, skeins of each of the, that color, uh, just to be on the safe side. Um, because I just like to have extra when I do a project, but, um, anyhow, that's about all I got for y'all tonight. Um, hopefully this cold snap turns us loose in the next day or two. And I'll be able to uh, record a longer video for y'all. Um, I'll commiserate with my uh, buddies and see if they can maybe make some content suggestions for me. Because I'm having trouble with that. So maybe y'all let me know what y'all would like to see. Um, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm struggling here with con coming up with content. And I don't know what to do about it. So, um, I don't know. I just am. Uh, I mean, it, it, I just, I'm struggling. I ain't, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm struggling with the desire to come up with content. And I don't know what to do about that. So, um, y'all just have to forgive me. Um, I want to do videos. I just don't know what to do videos about. <laughs> Because I'm just doing the same old thing I do every day. Just crocheting uh, sweaters and, you know, stuff like that. And I just, um, I, I, I don't want to bore anybody, you know. Um, you know, and I feel like I'm boring people. And um, I'm getting to that point. So, I don't know what to do. Uh, hopefully, something will come about. I think it's the weather's probably just kind of got me in the foul. Oh, I was real grouchy when I got up yesterday so um it's 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 the weather i know it's the weather it's it, it really is it's this cold weather and it's just um it it zapped my personality and um i don't know what to do about it i really don't and um hopefully when it warms back up i will too so um anyway um I love y'all so much, and so does Jesus, and please remember to adopt, don't shop, your best friend's waiting on you at the shelter or the rescue, and I will see y'all next time. Bye now.